Hey beauties, I wanted to say good morning, but first of all, I'm on my way to work. I just left the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I'm hooked, right? Um, just to get a few things for my son for school. Because for some reason, these teachers, they ask for too much. They ask for too much. I feel like they want you to buy their supplies. So anyway, I gave them like two bags the first week school started. Excuse my nails, guys. I need to get it done. I'm gonna go on my lunch break. I'm trying to take off the gel. But, um, still don't have a mouth yet. But I think this is a little bit better. So, you know me, I always come on here because I want to talk. And when I want to talk, I just want to talk. So, today, what I want to talk about is how YouTubers, I know most of you guys that watch me has been doing YouTube as long as me or longer. Um, but with the other day I was watching YouTube and I was like, you know, the Caucasians look out for each other. They really do. And I'm not even going to say the Caucasians. Because you got some YouTubers, blacks, that look out for each other. Like, they'll be like, oh, subscribe to my friend's channel and put the link below. Or talk about that friend. I mean, I see some people here do it. Don't get me wrong. But we don't do it often. There's so many people out here that does great videos. Stuff that you want to watch, or even if it's not great, just that you can relate, it's relatable. And we don't pick them up. You know why we don't pick them up? Because you're afraid that your subscribers are going to like them more and they may gain more subscribers. I'm hoping not, but that's what I feel. And it's sad. It's really sad. Because we are supposed to build, especially if we all, we don't know each other personally, but we like each other's video. We're trying to build a relationship. The least we can do is talk about our sisters. Because that's what I do. I, at work, mention a few of my YouTubers to my friends. I'm like, watch it on your desk. Put this name in. Her name is this. Here. She's good. You can relate to her. Even if you can't, it's just entertainment. Like, that's how I am. But not everybody's like that. They'll come in on your channel, but they will not big you up. But, you know me, the queerest I am, I'm just going to keep it real. <laughs> that's it. I'm just going to keep it real because... I mean, I feel like we are at a stage the way the world is now. And don't talk about our president. We're supposed to help each other. Don't talk about I'm bigger. I got 12,000. You got two. You got three. I'm 20. Fuck that. Fuck that. Big each other up. Because at the end of the day, we talk about, oh, YouTube is a hobby. But they pay you. Hello? You get paid. And even if it's $20, I'm sorry, it's not $20. But even if it's $200 a month, you can pay a bill with that. You go shopping. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's what I wanted to say today. And the fact that I'm enjoying my beautiful car. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm crazy. But it's not that I'm crazy. I just feel like I was in Dollar Tree and I was just like, you know, I think her name is Rhonda Lise. Don't quote me. She does very, very beautiful. Like, she's a, a fucking perfume addict. And I'm sorry for cursing, but I'm just, you know, when I'm, when I'm hype, I curse. 
and I love her channel. Y'all know I love Keiko Beauty, that's my sister. Y'all know I like Happy Stylish Mommy because she's dope. I like Dior, Dior, Dior. He talks very good a uh, talk. You know you my sister, you know who you are. I'm gonna also link my sisters or even if I don't link it, I'm gonna put the channels that I'm loving on the bottom of this video. Because we have to, um, don't talk about my girl with the long nails. You know who I, I'm bad with these. But you know who you are. Like there's so many beautiful people that I watch. And I and I, and I watch you guys for years. And we, we watch all these Caucasians in, in a mansion and, and, and they don't big us up. So why we can't big up our sisters? You know what I'm saying? Like, why? Why we can't introduce your subscribers to, to, to us and I do the same? And we, we get our we get our subscribers up and we we just we trying to get a community go, a community going. And we have to do it. Because at the end of the day, we can't fight against each other. We gotta fight, we gotta, we gotta fight against them. We can't fight against us. You know what I'm saying? And when I see you doing big and doing good, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Like, I watch Happy Stylist Mommy. I watch Keiko Beauty. I know Keiko Beauty is very, very private because haters be getting mad because she live in a mansion. Get your own. Why y'all hating on the pretty girl for? Her parents work hard for her to live comfortably. So, I see Happy Stylish Mommy with her son, and I see her, and I see her shopping with her mom, and I see her don't put her husband on video, in her videos, and I don't blame her. Because motherfuckers will talk about your husband or will talk about you. So she keep her business private. Um, there's so many other YouTubers that I watch, small YouTubers that I love. Don't get me wrong, wrong. I get I watch some some subscribers that I like. They may be big, but I like them. I find a T, like Queen Nigel. She got a lot of tea going on with Clarence. I watch her channel. But at the end of the day, guys, before I go to work, because I'm running late, because of Dollar Tree, um, it's 904. Please, please, support each other. That's all I'm saying. Support each other. Um, my other girl, too. She know, and bar, bar, you know what I'm talking about. I'm about to put all the, the people that I love, my sisters, on here. My, even my son, he got a channel. I'm about to put his ass on here too. <laughs> um, he does anime though. But if you got a kid that watch anime, I'm gonna tell you how to subscribe to my, to my son's channel. Because at the end of the day, entertain, it's entertainment and it's support. And I remember when I first started YouTube, I was like, I was done. I knew me and my son's father was on the edge. And YouTube was my outlet, believe it or not. That's how I started it. I was in a domestic violence relationship. Yes, I can talk about it now. And that was my outlet. So yeah, you know, you'd be surprised, you know, what people going through. I'm happy now. But that was five years ago. But I'm just saying, when I started it, just support each other, guys. Please. Please. Support each other. Don't be afraid to call a sister name. Don't be afraid to add her um, her, her name below to, to, to tell your subscribers about her. Don't be afraid. Don't do it. Don't be afraid. Because the more you give, the more you get. Just know that. Just know that. The other day, someone dropped fifty dollars. A man. I ran him down. I gave him back at fifty dollars. Two days later, I bought a scratch off. I won two hundred dollars. So don't be afraid. Support. Okay. I love you guys as always, and be blessed. Talk to you soon. Bye, guys.